Hey guys, welcome back. This is part four of the video series of fixing up this tractor. In part one, two, and three, we got the tractor, brought it here, took the engine apart, found out no oil pressure, rod bearings were messed up, and a couple other things. If you want, check the description and you'll find the previous videos, one, two, and three, or you can go on my channel and click under videos. We're basically gonna start where we left off in video three where we replaced all the um <clears throat> the rod bearings oil pump governor all the good stuff so be sure to watch that video so right now i am in the process of <clears throat> getting this block cleaned up and um i got these exhaust slash carburetor um bolts here and you can see the threads are a little bit chewed up on some i already cleaned this one up just run uh you know die th over it and then i got these uh brass bolts that go on like that so i still got this one to do i might do this one too on this one the whole bolt kind of came out so i might just leave it i don't know we'll see but anyway let's get to work on that and uh finish getting this thing cleaned up and then I'm going to go ahead and hone these cylinders, get the crankshaft installed and pistons and clutch and flywheel, assemble it back on the machine, and we'll go from there. much better before that uh I wouldn't even screw on there it was all all the other ones were completely stripped out <clears throat> all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh start honing these cylinders There's a very uh, slight, you know, difference, but there's no like, um, I mean, it's all pretty smooth. Very slight amount. I might hit these one more time, but I don't want to do it too much. I'm just trying to clean them up a little bit, but I think I might hit these just one more pass. I'm just getting this water pump cleaned up. I was going to replace the pump, but it's actually in really good shape, and uh, the bearings are really tight in it. I think it was actually recently replaced, um, because there was like no rust or anything. All the metal was shiny, but after pressure washing it, I got a little bit of, just a little bit of rust and stuff. But when I took it off, all this stuff was really clean, and the uh, antifreeze was like really clean also, so... Just gonna add a very small amount. Some gasket sealer here. Thank you. 
Okay, so I got my uh, rope seals here, soaking in some oil, let them soak overnight. I'm gonna go ahead and install them. This is just some uh, Lucas Oil assembly lube. Let's get this up. We got our main bearings uh, caps. There's an arrow that points to the front of the engine, and these get torqued to 90 to 100 foot pounds. This one's even more three marks for number three. This one's two, and the oil pump's one, but it's kind of hard to really mess that up. So I got it all nice and cleaned up in the bell housing. That thing was filthy, but now it's, uh, it's all nice and clean and dry. I removed the throwout bearing, and throwout bearing looks pretty good. It uh, spins freely without any wobble or play in it, so I think we're good there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some. Uh, everything here Get all this greased up and 
and I'm going to do the same thing to the throw up bearing. Alright, I think it's about time to install this flywheel. I'm going to add just a very small amount of blue Loctite, and then these get torqued to uh, 75 foot pounds. So we got our clutch here, clutch alignment tool. Line it up like that. Snug them down a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and add some thread locker to these just to be sure. It's time to go ahead and made it back to the machine. How are we looking there? That's pretty close. Okay, we got the engine mounted up on the tractor, and we got the oil pan all cleaned up, the seals installed. This thing's uh, this one wasn't that bad, but these smaller ones, man, those things gonna be a pain in the butt to get in. All right, um, let's go ahead and start installing these pistons. Get a little bit of oil on this piston here. Okay, I went ahead and put some assembly loom on the assembly loop on the on the crank and the rod rod bearings.
there's one. Let's get the other ones done. Right, let's go ahead and get these rod caps in. I'm not going to torque them just yet. I'm just going to get them kind of snug. cylinder walls here. So all the rod uh, caps get torqued to 35 foot pounds. Turn it up, it said 35 to 40. I'm gonna do it 40. Engine spins over nice and freely. It's good. Time to uh, install this oil pump. Fill it with some assembly lube here. Yeah, will help it prime. So the oil pump gear doesn't have to be timed or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get this timing cover on. Put a little bit of just a little bit of gasket sealant on this cover. Don't need a lot. Actually, this gasket um is what kind of sets the uh, end play on the camshaft so definitely don't want a ton of sealer on it
on here some ratchet straps I'm just gonna slowly but surely get it up here it out but I didn't get it on camera and I got it pretty dang centered so I'm gonna use a little easy out and see if I can get this thing out I don't know it's kind of hard to get to it so I don't know we'll give it a try my luck I'll end up probably breaking this thing off in here too Well, stinking Harbor Freight tool, I don't want to grab it, so I'm trying to figure something out. I think I'm just going to drill this thing out. Good as new. It sticks up just a hair. That's good. I like that. <clears throat> All right. Let's get let's get this uh let's get this oil pressure thing in. And a lot of people thought it might have been this, which was causing a no oil pressure. And um, I don't think it was because it was completely cleared out. Uh, I mean, completely clear, and um, there's really nothing, nothing wrong with it. So I still believe it was uh, the oil pump. I made a gasket for this also. So. All right.
and one little trick uh, before you get this in loosen up the oil pan just a little bit because those seals when they're new they're extremely tight against it you just loosen it up a little bit um, and get your bolt just you know on your pulleys go right on there and then go ahead and tighten up your um, your oil pan afterwards so I got this new uh, oil drain um, bolt and screen and it's actually very important to get this screen inside of this um, of this housing here so you want to make sure I'm just making sure there's no particles in there or anything but um you want to make sure the screen goes inside here I'm also going to prime all the lines um, so that way this whole engine will already be primed before I start it up. So I'm going to get this distributor cleaned up. Um, this little hole right here, it's actually broken off and it had like a little turned cap where you put oil in it to uh, oil this bearing in here. So I'm going to try and pull this. I don't know if that's dirt in there or what, but I'm going to try and pull this out and see if I can fabricate some kind of thing and get it all cleaned up. Alright, so I got this, uh, this gas tank removed from the hood here. I gotta get all it. Get all this stuff clean out. Look at all these dirt dauber nests. I mean, they're everywhere. Um, the gas tank itself is pretty dirty on the outside, but on the inside, it's fairly clean. I don't know if you can see in there, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up. Take this uh, off and get it all cleaned up. It's a little bit challenging to get this uh, cap off, but I got it. This cork uh, gasket is just trash so I'm gonna have to make a new gasket. I don't think yeah I don't think I got one in the kit. So I'll get the screen out of here if I'm able to. Stop damaging it. I'll probably go ahead and put this in the ultrasonic cleaner. I think the ultrasonic cleaner got this thing pretty clean. I made this gasket here. I'm just going to fit it down in there. And there we go. Put a little grease up in here so that seal stays good. Got the distributor cleaned up pretty well also. It's not horrible. I've seen a whole lot worse.
generator looks to be in fairly good shape. It's got a little bit of buildup in here, but not much. The brushes are really good. So I'm just going to clean this up and grease it. Give this a go. I'm using the Harris Stay Clean Flux. sealed up here that yeah, looks horrible on the camera but actually looks pretty good um, all that sealed up nicely this uh, thing is nice and solid now gosh I, I can't decide if I want to paint this thing or try and polish it up but I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint it install the starter I'm uh, waiting on a tool to adjust the valves that's why I'm kind of doing all this uh, other stuff first before like I put the you know the head and stuff on So I'm pulling the tape off these wires, and these wires are in excellent shape. I mean, they're like brand new looking. So I'm just gonna uh, retape them, but let's get it all taped up.
so I got my um, valve adjustment tools in <laughs> but of course um, they sent me both I guess the right hand side so instead you're supposed to have a left and a right and they sent me two of the same I don't know what is going on with everything now but I, I don't know about you guys but getting parts has been really hard to do and if you do get the parts it just seems like it's hit or miss if you get the right one so I don't know if you guys have been dealing with the same thing or not but um, all these valves are out of adjustment on the intake it's supposed to be 10 to 12 thousandths and uh, on the exhaust it's supposed to be 14 to 16 so I'm gonna do it in half 11 and 15 on the exhaust and you can see at 11 it won't go in at all so um, I got a 7 16 wrench here I'm just gonna attempt to, to adjust these guys that sucker's tight finish up all the other ones and we'll go from there so I got all the valves adjusted I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this uh, copper gasket stuff on these uh, just a little bit kind of help them stick to these covers these little quart gaskets some washers and I'm gonna go ahead and put them behind there because that's a common spot to leak all right so I believe that I got the timing set right on it hopefully um, so we got it at the four degree mark um, in the cover. Um, we're almost at top dead center here. And my contacts are just starting to open with the rotor pointing to the number one cylinder. And my number one spark plug right here pointing to that. So I believe, I believe we're right, hopefully. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the head gasket put on and um, I'm going to spray some of the copper uh, sealant on it just to prevent any leaks or anything. Put some anti seas and get this torqued down. So I went ahead and torqued these uh, to 35 first, and then uh, the final torque is um, 65 to 70. So I'm um, doing that now. And, uh, I 
actually easy to mark these bolts. It makes it a lot easier to tighten them. go ahead and uh, I got all the lines primed with oil I got the governor primed um, all the lines to the um, <clears throat> oil pressure gauge so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install this oil filter Hopefully I can do this without spilling everywhere. this carburetor um, installed. Let's go ahead and get this radiator installed.
Alright, it's coming along. Let's go ahead and get this up. I think I heard him tell somebody was in there worth a hundred dollars. He sold a bunch of them. They were Matco. They got a good deal. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Let's try and crank this thing up. All right, you guys. I tried cranking this thing last night, but um, it was just really late, and the battery ended up dying. So today is the next uh next day and of course it rained really bad and i got the battery all charged up um i did have it pushed out of here um and it got rained on so i got it back in here but let's see what this thing will do let's see if it cranks up um the fuel um shut off valve is it's leaking a little bit so i just turned it back on and let's give it a shot let's see what this thing does fingers crossed I don't know if I should choke her or not. Look at Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> no. no way. Set this thing out. Let's see if we got wool pressure. PSI, I'm sure if we revved it up. <laughs> yeah, though, it goes up a little bit, so that's good. Um, I don't really see any smoke. Figured it'd be snow. Well, I see a little bit, but um, wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> Got a little bit of tapping, but it sounds like it's coming from the valves. I might need to adjust them a little bit better. I might have them opened up too much. Oh my god. <laughs> let's do, let's take this thing for a ride. Let's see what it does. Yeehaw! out the uh, gear shifter moves. I don't know if that's normal or not. It only does it when I let out like that. Let's see if it does it in forward. Oh, it doesn't do it in forward. <laughs> Give it a little bit of throttle here. That's first gear. Is this supposed to sound like that? I don't know. That almost sounds like a. I don't know if all tractors sound like that, but. Alright, we're at about 20 something PSI. I don't know if that's good or bad. Put this thing in third gear and see what it does. Yeehaw! Oh, it is smoking a little bit. That's probably just burn, still burning off. I don't know if you can see that. But I did put a lot of uh, oil in the cylinder, so. gear and 
see what see what she does. just out of idle um, whenever I push the clutch in this is in neutral it's like the noise goes away I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not all y'all uh, four to eight inch tractor gurus uh, let me know what you think um, it was puffing out a little bit of blue smoke and um, also a little bit of black smoke so I think it's running a little rich. Yeah, you can't even see like it's already starting to stain that chain. So the carburetor probably needs tuning. Also, I'm not sure if the timing is 100% correct on it. Uh, this is where I have the timing set. And seems like that's about the best spot, but it's actually condensating on the carburetor, which probably means that it's getting too much fuel. It idles pretty good though. Let's uh let's see what this baby can do. Think about the tractor. Hey quackers! Hey quackers! Come on. Quack quack quack! I like the tractor. Quack quack quack! Quack quack quack! All right, I think this tree needs to go. What do you guys think? You think uh, think old Betsy will uh, will pull it down? Let's give it. A out <laughs> sweet I think we've got a good pulling gear in it let's see what else kind of damage we can do
So I haven't even tested the PTO or the hydraulics, so let's give uh, give those a little test. I got this uh, old box blade here, and I'm gonna make a video of fixing this thing up. This is the old scraper blade on it, and the previous owner, I guess, thought it was a stump puller. So um, this angle iron plate used to be welded to the bottom, and it broke off, and all these cutters are all bent and stuff, so I got some new angle plate here. I gotta bend this back out. I got some new cutting edges. These are a little bit thicker. I'm gonna have to put like a cutting edge on them or whatnot, but I'll make a video fixing this thing up. I wanna go ahead and see if it, the hydraulics actually even work and if it'll move this thing around. So let's give it a shot. All right, let's test these uh, hydraulics here. everyone this is the end of this video now I do have big plans for this tractor and there's gonna be a lot more videos with it I do plan on restoring it I'm gonna go ahead actually already ordered some parts for it I got all new piston sleeves so I'm gonna be going back into the engine I wish I would have ordered it at first but I you know I, I took a gamble and I guess I kind of lost on it so I will be putting new pistons and sleeves and also got a new carburetor for it i've tried adjusting this one but i think there's some pieces missing to it i looked in the manual and there's a few things that i think are missing and that's why it's running so rich because i had the the needle screws like turn pretty much all the way to close and it's still running too rich so um the carburetor is actually good i, I could have just got a rebuild kit but i'm gonna go ahead and throw one of these chinese ones in and see how it does and if not i'll just rebuild this one um also i'm going to be fixing this box blade if you're interested in uh, me making a video of that um stay tuned i might make one or i'll just include it in another tractor video that i make but this is it right now um like i said stay tuned subscribe if you want to and you'll see future videos of this i got a bunch more videos coming up so um i'll see you see you on those you guys have a good one appreciate all the uh, subscribers and comments and everything and if you have any opinions good or bad about this tractor let me know um, I'm here to learn so you guys have a good one and take care we'll see you later